हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता सो टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्विक क्लोजिंग वाल्व इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल सी व्हाट इज द क्विक क्लोजिंग वाल्व वेयर द क्विक क्लोजिंग वाल्व इज इंस्टॉल्ड एंड वेयर इट इज यूज्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी हाउ इट लुक लाइक व्हेन इट इज इन नॉट ऑपरेशन कंडीशन एंड हाउ इट लुक लाइक व्हेन इट इज इन ऑपरेशन आफ्टर दैट through a series of animation we'll see how it operate and after that how we can open it and how we can close it and what are the frequency of testing this quick closing valve and what are the type of quick closing valve and after that we'll see where it is installed and how it look like so let's start the today video of quick closing valve please watch the video till end i guarantee you will have all doubt clear and if you have still remaining you can put in a comment section i will reply this is very important for all of the ship personnel and for the person who are going to give the exam because i have seen people getting stuck while operating the quick closing valve so what is a quick closing valve if anybody asks you a question what is a quick closing valve the answer remain within itself so quick closing valve means it is a type of a valve which operate very quickly so where it is fitted so basically it is fitted in a fuel oil tank lube oil tank and other tank why so that in case of any accident we can isolate it so what i do my mean by accident so let's see this thing diagram So basically, as you can see, all the lube oil, fuel oil, diesel oil tank is having a quick closing valve. So, in case of fire, suppose there is a fire in the engine room. So, if there is a fire in the engine room, and as we know that as per the fire triangle, there is three source is required to make a fire happen. One is fuel. One is air and one is heat okay so the main work of quick closing valve is to cut off the fuel supply so basically if we close all the fuel oil lube oil and diesel oil tank then we are cutting off the source from the engine room fire and therefore we can stop the fire to aggregate if it has already occurred and if it has not taken place we can prevent any fire incident to happen so this is why this quick closing valve is very important so in order to remotely operate all the tank we are providing quick closing valve which can be operated in a one go so this is why we are providing quick closing valve so isolation means cutting off the source of supply so that the fire cannot exist great now you can see this quick closing valve which is not in operation so not in operation means is basically you know the quick closing valve which is installed in this tank you can see this so basically all the fuel oil tank or lube oil tank which is in use in that the quick closing valve which is fitted is normally in open condition so not operation means the valve is in open condition now the things which you need to care about the quick closing valve are three thing one is this area second is this area and third is this area so these three thing is basically all about the quick closing valve so one by one we will see what is a quick closing valve so first as you can see in the diagram this valve is screwed through nut to the stem of the valve so basically if the stem move up and down the valve will also move up and down so first thing is like that it means that the valve is screwed to the stem the second is that this is the guide bus and this is the 
is half moon cam and this is the spring which is in compressed condition and second third is the actuator piston so this actuator piston as you can see is now in this position so it is in this position when it is open now you see here it is in this position when it is in closed so it is perpendicular when it is closed and it is slant when it is open condition the one thing more need to you need to take care is that see the position of actuator piston so it is in downside so the piston is in full bdc now the full piston is in tdc when it is operated and third thing is that when it is operating the spring is getting decompressed so spring here is compressed here decompressed so these are the thing element three element which you need to take care so first thing is that the valve is screwed with the stem the second is that the spring is compressed with the help of the half moon moon cam against the guide bus and third is that it is actuated by a air piston wire or hydraulic hydraulic means whatever the means you are using is when it is actuated at that time it decompresses the spring and move downward and close the valve okay so now let's see how it is happening so as you can see this is the half cam moon so now this is the guide bus and this is the groove in the guide bus now what is happening what is happening that when this cam is like this means when it is in open condition the handle is like this means the piston is in bdc at that time the half why it is called half the the moon is suppose the full moon is like this and half moon is like this so it is a half moon cam when it is getting inside the slot of the guide bus in that time at that time what is happening the spring is getting compressed when the valve is moved rotated in the anti clockwise direction one more time i will tell you now suppose the valve is moving like this now you are opening the valve suppose now when you are opening the valve and keeping the handle like this please hear me more time when you are opening the valve like this move rotating the hand hand wheel in the anti clockwise direction and keeping the handle like this so what you are doing you are inserting the half moon cam inside the groove and after that you are compressing the spring you are compressing this spring when this spring is been compressed the spindle is also coming up with the spring getting compressed so one more time i'll tell you when it is kept in this land condition this half moon cam is getting inside the groove here which is in the guide bus and it is causing the spring retainer to compress along with the spring and also the stem is coming up due to which the valve is getting open okay so this is how this work so now i hope you understand now when it is operated means when the air is coming from here suppose wait one minute the air is coming from here and it is operating it so this is getting out from the groove so as it is getting out from the groove as it is getting out from the groove so what is happening this thing is moving down now tell me why it is moving down this is moving down because here the spring is there which is in compressed condition so it will release it will release it will become like this so it is in compressed condition when this is moving 
out at that time this thing will move down because of the spring force and it will go down as it is going down so what will happen the valve stem will also go down due to which will close the valve so when the air is coming up the groove half moon cam groove is coming out and this is moving down due to which the stem is moving down along with the valve and is closing the valve so this is how the kick closing valve operate i hope it is clear now now the problem which i have seen people facing is after operation resetting the valve how you will reset the valve after operation so basically first thing you need to do is that first you need to make this down in slant condition it means you have to engage this half moon cam inside the groove of the guide bus and after that keep the air piston in bdc and then you start rotating it in a anti clockwise direction means in a opening condition so what is happening when you are putting in a slant position you are putting the air piston in the bdc and engaging the half moon cam inside the guide bus and by opening it you are compressing the spring and as you are compressing the spring the it is getting open because the stem is also coming up and as you know as the stem will come up because it is screwed with the nut the valve is screwed with the nut the valve also come up and the thing will open so now i guess you understand how the kick closing valve is need to be open after operation so now the question come to our mind that what is the frequency of testing this kick closing valve so basically on board in general it is tested as per the company policy but in normal case the kick closing valve is operated in a 3 month interval in a 3 month interval you need to operate the kick closing valve kick closing valve is also operated during the psc wetting flag cdi and other third party so ensure the safe operation of ship so basically whenever the psc waiting inspector is coming they will tell you okay you show me the operation of one, one of the kick closing valve why because they want to make sure because it is a part of safety it means to ensure that you are uh, know the operation and second it ensure the safe operation of the ship so sometimes they will ask you why you the psc is coming and making it operate because they want to ensure the safe operation of the ship so what are type of the valve so basically it's a globe type and gate type now what type of kick closing valve you can see so basically it is three type wire pneumatic and hydraulic but mostly we are using pneumatic operated kick closing valve wire operated kick closing valve is been discontinued because you know the problem we are facing suppose it is a wire so the wire need to have a greasing from time to time otherwise sometime it have a self life and it tend to break if not proper greasing because of corrosion second is that sometime if a wire is there there is a type of nicking happening the wire causing sluggish operation or sometime not even operating the kick closing valve so there is a risk of malfunction so to, to avoid that this kick closing valve is operated without pneumatically in most of the case still you can find this kick closing valve wire operated in emergency generator in emergency generator room the kick closing valve can be is normally operated from outside the emergency generator room by wire it is been provided so that in case of fire of a emergency generator room you can close it from the outside okay now this is the setup of a kick closing valve this setup you can find in a fire station so before telling you about that you see this diagram so as you can see in this diagram this is the fire station this is the fire station okay so what is happening so basically from fire station the supply from the control and service is coming and filling up this bottle there is one drain there is one relief valve and from there there is two control lever from where it is operating the kick closing valve now sometime it happen that you need to isolate a 
particular section in that case therefore this control lever is given okay so if you want to isolate a particular batch you can do it by control lever keeping the other batch on so this is provided in a fire control station why so that it can be remotely operated now one more thing you can see here is that quick closing valve provided for individual engine like a1 a2 a3 and main engine why it is provided it is provided that sometimes suppose fire doesn't happen but some problem occur in particular generator or particular main engine so you want to cut off supply of fuel but you cannot go there so there the remote operation batch is provided inside the engine room from where you can operate it okay so if you will operate this valve and it will op operate this key closing valve this psc inspector coming also try to do this now you can see this is the receiver in the fire control station and the air is coming from here and it is filling the receiver okay and from here the what is the pressure it will show here and this is a drain from where you can drain and drain all the water so the air is coming through a non valve it is filling the receiver and after that this is the key closing valve operation valve if you open the valve the air will go from here and it will go to each individual section now suppose you don't want to operate a particular unit you can close it so it will not go so this is how you operate this key closing valve so friend in today's video we have learned how a key closing valve work how it look like and what is the frequency of testing and how the operation is been carried out still if you got doubt please do comment below and please do like our video friend marine engineering hub have started the membership and those who have become member please join the marine engineering whatsapp group where you can directly interact with me the link is been provided in the membership and you can directly contact me and i can guide you motivate you in whatsoever way if you want to have a direct contact with me 